the video, we um, created this um, fog effect in GDevelop. We also changed the textures and did you know, some lighting and whatever. So um, let's import some 3D models into, um, into GDevelop, see if we can do it. I have never done it, so... Okay, uh, to do that, I'm going to use, um, let me see, I'm going to use probably iClone for that, just because it's pretty easy to make animations in uh, iClone 7. If you don't have it, uh, the link is down below. You can download the free version. I think it lasts about 30 days kind of thing. And then you can make some animations. But, um, you can use other software for making animations. Uh, I just find iClone extremely easy, and I'm going to show you why. Um, I don't even know if this is going to work on my laptop, because this thing is... <laughs> Maybe it will work, I don't know. Go avatar here. Grab this um, model. It might take a while to load. All right, let's use this guy for now. Oh, it actually works fine. I didn't even know you could run um, Icon 7 on a, on a laptop. I mean, uh, a low-spec laptop. Okay, so let me go to animations here and um, let's assign some animations. Let's see. How about moving? Running. Let's try running. Preview this. And uh, I'm not going to overthink this. You guys can um, elaborate better if you wanted to later. That's my running animation. And uh, let me make this roughly about... Um, so let me see. Make that uh, about the 42 frames. Let's see if that works. And I'm going to loop this animation. And actually, that seems to work fine. So I'm going to export this. Export as an FBX um, Blender. Okay, there's a lot of support online for that. Um, 42 frames is fine. And uh, I wonder if I can reduce the amount of textures here. Try BMP, try JPEG. Maximum texture size, super, super low. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to check all this here. And let's export this. Call this, uh, I don't know, BB or something. Not going to overthink it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So that export is fine. So let me go online and um, I got to Blender to TVL Converter Online. Okay. Here it is. Uh, this website is called uh, Image to SDL, whatever. So we went Blender to uh, GLB. Okay, let's find our file and convert. Okay, so let's download the model. I'm going to call this um, HHH something. Okay, let's go to uh, GDevelop. And um, I'm going to go to the coin here. And let's replace the coin for our new um, model. Okay. And uh, we don't have any animations. You can scan for animations here. Uh, we can loop the animation if you wanted to. See what happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have a uh, moving. Oh my god. Okay, look what we got. Oh, I died. Okay, so what we have is a. Uh, the running animation of that guy, and I think at that um, it might be a bit too high polygon, so we might need to like drop down the um, polygon count. It's fine, except for the um, polygon count might be a bit too high, but that's fine. We can bring in models that are not so um, uh, the mesh is not so high. I can see, <laughs> see the coins there. Let me change the player. See if uh, see if it works with the player. Uh, replace, choose model. Okay, that works fine. That is terrible, but it, I think it works. How about the animation? Let me see. Does the animation work on this? Scan for missing animations. Okay, choose animation. Um, temporary motion. I guess it would be the ad. Uh, uh, temporary running animation. I can see that it's working except for <laughs> he's not centered. We uh, okay, here it is zero out. 
Okay, now it's at zero. But then it's gonna be doing that. So uh, let me just read redo this animation. Okay, there is our model there. Let me zero her out as well. So she will be right in the center. And I'm gonna go to animation, animation puppet. Female moves there. Uh, you can um, adjust this whatever way you want to do. You can change the speed. Okay, that's enough there. We're gonna call it that BB1 just because. Uh, call this uh, BB2. And let's import this uh, G develop. Scan for animations. And there is a running animation. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make another video about like um, reducing the amount of polygons uh, for this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.